So to say it again, the wave function isn't the same thing as the arbitrary ket. It is the continuous function used to describe the probability coefficients, the probability amplitudes associated with each one of the continuous basis states. And this only works when your basis is continuous. So it wouldn't work, for example, if we're talking about energy Hilbert space. Now to be a bit fastidious, I'm going to use the symbol, the symbol here with the, the equals with the dot and to say it to, is represented by. So this is uh, the arbitrary abstract quantum state. It is not the same thing as a wave function, but we use a wave function to calculate the details of the ket. So to conclude, if we have an arbitrary ket and we have a continuous basis, we can rewrite the ket with this integral here. And because it's a continuous basis, in our calculations, we can actually ignore basically all of this. We can just concentrate on the wave function. And the wave function, just working with the wave function, will actually give you all of the details you want about your ket, your arbitrary abstract quantum state. So the ket is not the same thing as your wave function, but in calculations with a continuous basis, you can basically say they're synonymous. So with our continuous basis, our kets are represented by wave functions, our bras are represented by the complex conjugate of our wave functions, and the inner product is an, excuse me, a continuous infinite integral and I'm missing the actual dx. So that's that. You now understand, hopefully, what a wave function is. And I hope there are, there are light bulbs going off in your head. They certainly were for me. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. And if you like it, and if you want me to continue doing what I'm doing, please consider, consider excuse me, supporting me on Patreon. Okay, bye-bye.